Hello, my name is Leon. Welcome to another reading of the Elder Scrolls. Today we're going to be reading the 36 Lessons of Avex, Sermon 31. Many more years passed in Rizania, and the high priests of the Dwemer were almost ready to make war on the rulers of the Loth. The Horator had become the husband of Ram, I am, during this time, and the first saint of the Train Ray. Vivek had tried, had tired of fighting his sons and daughters, and so took a respite from trying to find them. The Rarator said to his wife, Where is Vitek, Vivek, my teacher? I love him still, though he grows cold. His lamentations, if I may call them that, have changed the skin of the whole country. He is hardly to be found anywhere in the loss of late. The people grow dark because of it. And I am took mercy on her troubled husband, and told him what that the sword of the Triune had been fighting minor monsters stirred up by the Dwemer as they worked on their brass siege machines. She told the Horator inside her Wait Oh She took the Horator inside her and showed him where his master was. Alnsby, or at least that aspect that chose to be Vivek, sat in the litany hall of the false sinking temple after his battle with the flute and pipes ogres of the West Gash. He began writing again in his Book of Hours. He had to put on his water face first, that way he could separate the bronze of the old temple from the blue of the new and write with happiness. Second, he had to make another feather from the big moon, further rendering it dead. That way he could write about mortals with truth. Third, he recalled the pomegranate banquet, where he was forced forced to marry Molag Bao? Pretty sure you did that willingly, son, but whatever. With wet scriptures to cement his likeness as Mephoda, and write with black hands, he wrote, The last time I heard his voice, showing the slightest sign of impatience, I learned to control myself and submit to the will of others. Afterwards I dared to take on the sacred fire, and realized there was no equilibrium with the at Ada. They were liars, lost roots, and the most I could do is to be an interpreter into the, ra- the ra- rational, rational. Even though it fails the needs of the people, I sit on the mercy seat and pass judgment. The waking state and the phase aspect of the innate urge. Only here I can doubt, in this book. Uh, written in water, broadened to include evil. Then Vivek threw his ink on this passage to cover it up for the lay reader. For the lay reader? Oh, right. And wrote instead, Find me in the blackened paper, unarmored, in final scenery. Truth is like my husband, instructed to smash, filled with procedure and noise, hammering, weighty, heaviness made schematic. Lessons learned only by a mace. Let those that hear me then be buffeted. Buffeted? Yes. And let some die in the ash from the striking. Let those that find him, find him. Let those that find him, find him murdered by illumination. Pummeled like a traitorous house. Because if an hour is golden, then immortal, I am a secret code. I am the partaker of the doomed drum, chosen of all that dwell in the middle world to wear this crown, which reverberates with truth, and I am the mangling messiah. The ending of the words is out of me. Okay. What have we here? What exactly is going on with this, uh, this sermon? Hmm? Can we talk about that? We can, if you can find your... List of the papers, hang on. <laughs> 36 lessons of the back. Number 31. Um, hmm. 
The Doom Drum. What is the Doom Drum? That's Loken. Oh. Or maybe Loken's heart, specifically. Alright. Now, hold on. This is before the Battle of Red Mountain, supposedly. So, are they ensure, uh, assuming that he is not a god? Remember that this is a creation myth? So, they're trying to say, as far as the temple is concerned, that Vivek was always a god. He was born a god. He is a god. Not they created themselves as gods by using the heart of Logan. Oh, that's probably true. <laughs> Uh, what is this about changing the skin? Talking about the Dunma. Oh, okay. Well, that was the 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 31. We will do more book readings in the future, but for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.